Hey guys, just take care back with another video. So, in this video, I am gonna do a uh, EMU, uh, do a review of the EMU F5, the new uh, Huawei's homegrown UI, uh, home built UI. Uh, uh, it is like the fifth version of the EMUI. The EMUI before 3.1 was ugly. The 3.1 was just okay. Uh, it got better on the four, and now on the fifth one, it is you know it is uh, it has progressed and upgraded so fast that uh, one can't really say much. Uh, <laughs> it has uh, uh, it has upgraded a lot from the EMUI four. I will be comparing it with the EMJ for some other day and uh, this is my uh, this is time to review the EMUI 5 over here so first of all if you go into the settings you will see the you know home screen style let me uh, zoom out so that you can see uh, in the home screen style that uh, you have a standard option that is the one which looks like the previous EMUI 4 and this is what you get out of the box but uh, when you change it to uh, the uh, drawer uh, draw style uh, it uh, enables the app drawer over here and then uh, uh, you really won't hate most of the people hate EMUI because it does not come with an app drawer but the EMUI 5 does come with an app drawer now so that's really great and uh, next thing is that uh, does it look better than the previous versions yeah it does look more refined more better and more cleaner than the previous versions the notification panel is more like stock or samsung type of one but yeah it does look better in many people's opinion not in mine uh, than the previous ones uh, those people who like the stock android will really love this uh, uh, notification panel and the next thing is that we have got six themes with the Mate 9. We get around four to six with the P, uh, P series phones as well. So yeah, that's great. And you know, is it more closer to the uh, stock Android? Uh, yes, for sure it is more closer to the stock Android because the uh, app backgrounds are gone on the phone. And uh, we've got our let me see the YouTube application does look a little bit better as compared to my P8 Lite uh, this is probably because of the display or optimization it is, uh, all of the UI in my opinion feels more smoother than the EMUI 4 this is one of the best versions of EMUI I've ever seen and tested and uh, coming to the camera UI it looks pretty much the same as the P9's Camera. The uh, this is actually the Leica software. This uh, this uh, software was developed by Leica and Huawei code engineer. Uh, sorry, co-developed by Huawei and Leica. The uh, camera UI uh, that is said by uh, Huawei did state that when uh, they were uh, uh, they had to face that controversy with uh, the Leica Huawei controversy. Uh, Huawei did mention that the software uh, is developed by Leica. So yeah. Uh, the camera UI, uh, uh, the camera UI does look great. You have got your Pro mode, you have got wide aperture mode. Let me disable there, and you got your settings. Uh, the stock UI of the camera is really not great. The so the skinned version uh, of the UI look better in my opinion. And coming to the other things, uh, it looks uh, they all all of them look you know like uh, quite close to socks android as well uh, i really love the clock i really like the clock uh, application of the emui 4 and that we do not have uh, this uh, the clock uh, clock application is not the same as the uh, emui 4 so i really do not like this one uh, as much as i i really do not like this one as much as i like the emui 4 one so yeah i hope that Huawei gets that back in emui 6 the uh, gallery uh, is redesigned. Uh, redesigned. We've got this discover option over here, and 
then going to the settings you will see that whenever you have to tap on an option or something like that let me check where do we where I find that mm. okay so first of all uh, we get a quick uh, uh, whenever we are in a sub menu a sub option of a setting we get a top right uh, we get a menu uh, button a menu icon on the top right corner where, with which we can access the quick settings on the over here the, we can access the quick settings in the settings so yeah this makes it easier to use and more efficient and next is let me get to an option we've got the daydream mode we didn't have that in uh, previous Huawei phones uh, yeah as you can see uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys as you can see the menu looks quite close to the iOS uh, style so in my opinion the Huawei uh, the EMUI 5 has moved closer to the iOS style as well uh, you get these types of options on uh, on iOS as well. Let me show you. Not over here. As you can see, we uh, we can access uh, setting from the side on the iOS application. Same can we do with the EMUI 5. But that's still that's really not bad. And uh, coming out these menus that you get in the settings, uh, you look uh, you know they look quite close to iOS. Uh, iOS style but that's really not a bad thing in my opinion uh, the uh, iOS has great looking uh, menus these types that pop up they blur out the background they do, don't do that on the Huawei but yeah uh, they blur out the background and they are curved around the edges and they are really great they look quite great and the uh, you know my final th uh, thoughts about the EMUI 5 so uh, has the uh, EMUI 5 got any better uh, as compared to the EMUI 4 well uh, according to my testing and everything EMUI has got a great update over the EMUI 4 and EMUI 5 looks way better than the EMUI 4 uh, it has roots deeper into the stock Android uh, if you see the notification panel and the app drawer and not only that it has uh, roots deeper into iOS as well uh, the good stuff from uh, iOS is combined into the uh, uh, EMUI and uh, the good stuff from uh, stock Android is, combi uh, is combined into this as well so uh, EMUI basically combines the best from both the uh, operating systems and gets them on a single phone uh, EMUI that is uh, so yeah, uh, EMUI 5 looks really great and there is one thing that has been fixed now uh, if you get any applic uh, and a notification over here uh, it shows a number it has been fixed on the European updates but in Pakistan I really didn't get that upgrade, upgrade and I look uh, there for that uh, on Huawei's uh, you know website but uh, over here I really didn't get that uh, uh, the YouTube uh, reviews I, su uh, I suppose yeah they got that update for uh, b135 let me show you my build number it is the b110 and the uh, youtubers got b135 upgrade and that has better camera uh, in low light this does not perform very good at the moment but after the update uh, according to the youtube other youtube reviews it uh, performs quite great and that uh, number thing has been fixed now it only shows numbers but uh, after the upgrade it will show individual icons so yeah that's great so this was my review of the EMUI 5 hope you guys liked it uh, give a thumbs up to the video if you like it uh, and yeah uh, please comment down uh, comment down which videos you want to see related to Huawei Mate 9 and the EMUI 5 uh, I will try my best to make them and yeah uh, thanks for watching my video uh, if you want to follow me on social media the links will be dropped down in the description below uh, peace out Shots from the fireworks or in the sounds of the battle Choke down, no one's up when the arrows are drawn